what we'll do is um, we'll just install the group chat client on this server just so we'll get set up and connected to the first chat room. Um, a few, and there we go. The one we want then is the client setup because that's what we're installing. We're going to install the client. So double click on the client. There we go. So click next. Read every word of the license agreement and accept the accept the agreement. Click next. Select where we're going to install it. I'm going to leave it in the default location. Just click next. There we go. Off it'll go now and do the installation for us. There we go. You can see it's finished. So click on finish. Close down that folder. And we'll have the group chat client. Confusingly, it's got the same icon as the communicator. So what we'll do is select that. You get the same sign-in box that you saw earlier from the admin tools. There we go. Okay, I'm going to sign in as administrator, same as I did earlier. Click sign in. There you go, you get a warning saying that anything that um, you send to a chat room, everyone will be able to see, obviously, but you can ignore that. Okay, and what we're going to do, um, I'm just going to connect you up to the first chat room. That's the one that we created earlier on. Um, obviously, there's a bit more to the administration and whatever, but um, it's a bit beyond what we're doing here. So, to connect up to the first chat room, click on the connect menu. And what we're going to do is join a chat room there. Okay, we get this search box up on the screen. So what I suggest is just leave the search block box blank, but then click on the um, the search for chat rooms on the right hand side. You should basically see the one um, chat room that we set up earlier, which is that one. So select that one, click join. There we go. You're now in your first uh, chat room, so you can type anything you like. Okay, there you go. Well, I hope you find that, that little lot useful.